All right, the rate of inflation continues to slow. The consumer price index out today showed prices rose 2.9% in the past year. That is the slowest increase in more than more than three years. We got someone here to make it all make sense. Mike Giordano, AKA Money Mike, financial advisor with <laughs> Williams Wealth Management is here. So since inflation continues to cool, we all might think of lower interest rates. Mike, does that make for a pretty good argument? Yeah, I mean, right, the Fed seemed poised to, to decide, say that they're in position to start uh, cutting rates at their next meeting in September. But this this inflation report kind of keeps the trend going. So it seems like it's even more likely now the Fed, when they meet in the middle of September, that they will cut rates. The big question, though, now is you know, how much are they going to cut? There was a time where people thought might, they might cut 50 basis points, which is half a percent, uh, or whether they'll just do the standard quarter uh, point cut. And so that's really the big question. And then, you know, how often will they cut after that? And it seemed like the Fed was, you know, solely focused on inflation. Is there a new battle or a new focus now? Yeah, if you if, if you recall, the, the Fed basically has two goals that they're focused on all the time. And one is is price stability, and that's what inflation uh, refers to. And then the other one is maximum employment. They want everybody who can work to have a job. And so they're trying to work on both those things. For the last few years, it was all about price stability because inflation was just raging, right? Now they've dialed that back in. Now they got to worry more about, you know, what, what's happening with the labor market and jobs. And we've seen over the last few months that the unemployment rate has ticked from 3.4 percent, all the way up to 4.3 percent. So now they got to really have their eye on the uh, the unemployment rate and the job market, and make sure that you know they're not too restrictive that they're going to you know cause a recession. And speaking of rates, lower mortgage rates for those in the market for a house, yes. right? What's going on with that? Yeah, so the expectation was as the Fed cuts rates that we'll see lower mortgage rates. Well, you're already seeing those lower mortgage rates because the Fed only controls one interest rate. It doesn't control those long-term rates. And so the mortgage rates are basically pegging off of long-term treasuries. So the benefit for people out there looking for a home right now is that where we had rates that were in the sevens, now they're about six and a half. So it's a much better opportunity for people uh, locking in lower, lower financing costs right now. The whole key, though, be the Fed will have to, you know, start cutting those rates in order to solidify these uh, these lower rates. And from home buyers to investors, will this help the investors out? Yeah, it depends. It, the, the, the investment, the markets love uh, rate cuts if they're for the right reason. And for so far, they would have been for the right reason. The economy is holding up. People are still spending money. All that stuff's great. So when you cut rates, it makes people want to spend even more money. It also helps people buy, you know, riskier assets like stocks or real estate or other stuff like that. Um, but the question is, are they going to be cutting into a strong economy or is the weakness in like the labor market going to be the reason why they cut? That's what the market's going to care about. If it's for weakness, the market won't like it. If it's for strength, the market will like it. Meantime, the bond market's been your friend here because bond market's giving you some uh, appreciation. That was very simply put. You know what? Slow inflation. <laughs> this is the one time when slow is a good thing. When, when inflation's slower, it's good. We love it. Well, Mike G joining us in the studio as always, Mike, we appreciate you. Thank yeah. you.